So this is um, this is two porterhouse steaks from Keith's Meat Market in Elk City. He also has his main, I guess, butcher shop down there in Burns Flat. But my friend Lake Carpenter told me about this place, and I wanted to share with you these steaks. Now, these are one inch thick, maybe a little more than one inch, maybe an inch and a quarter. Porterhouse steaks. 11, no, 10.99 a pound, aged, fresh cut, and they have a wonderful store down there. If you get a chance, go down to Elk City and visit the, the folks at Keith's Meat Market because it is a professionally done, nice building, clean, and uh, the woman that worked in there, probably family of Keith, and I can't remember the brother's name. Uh, very nice woman, very helpful. So we're gonna grill these tonight. This is, uh, like I said, just a little over an inch uh, thick, but they are aged. They've been sitting in the fresh cut cabinet there, the, the cooler on display. And so we're gonna make those tonight. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the paper out of the way and lay them on our on our uh, cookie sheet. That's what I like to use because it'll hold the juices. So we've got our porterhouse steaks. These were $10.99 um, a pound. It's about three and a half pounds of uh, meat. So it was about $39 for these two um, porterhouse. Okay, so not that I need it, but this little deal right here with this kind of steak, I don't think you really need to to tenderize, but this deal here is pretty neat. It was like 10 bucks on Amazon and it helps tenderize tougher meats. And so I'm not gonna use this on these steaks, but I wanted to show you, you can get these on Amazon. It's uh, it's very well worth the money. If you wanna buy like a, a cheaper cut of steak and then tenderize the hell out of it, this thing right here uh, will do the trick. It comes with a nice little case and it's heavy duty. So check that out. Okay, so I'm pretty basic when it comes to uh, putting on, you know, salt, pepper, all that good stuff, spices and stuff on the steak. I mean, I don't want to take away from the natural flavor, flavor of the steak, especially a steak like this. So I'm going to use uh, just some sea salt, a little sea salt grinder, and just salt them real good. I watched a, a video on Yellow Teeth, a guy that cooks down by the creek. I can't remember his name, but he uses big old uh, salt, uh, sea salt. So just put a little bit of salt on, and then I... Uh, I take my pepper and I'll put it on the second level there. So just a little bit bigger flakes. And then I'll put just a little bit of pepper. I don't like to overdo it with the pepper because it can also drown out the flavor of the steak. In my, it, to me it can. So that's about all I put as far as pepper goes. And then uh, usually I will put um, soy sauce. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I usually put a little bit of soy sauce um, on my steaks just to give them a little extra flavor, but with with these porterhouses, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna let them ride and uh, I imagine they're gonna turn out just fine. So anyway, stay tuned, we'll put them on the grill. All right, so we got the grill going here. A little windy out, but it's all right. I'm gonna put these bad boys on the grill. Cook for a little bit and see how they turn out. I'm gonna flip these bad boys over here in about two minutes. Here we are, boys. Those bad boys. crisp on the edges. What's cool about these is the marbleization is so good. Yeah, if you look and see what the uh, look at the inside. So I think these are about ready to come off. 